Hi, in this video, I want to talk about three crystals that can be used to process grief. You know, a lot of people are grieving because there's a lot of relationships that are ending. Look around, there's all types of endings happening out there. Careers are ending, marriages are ending, belief systems are ending, the old way of doing things is ending. You know, a lot of people sadly are transitioning to other dimensions. Three dimensional relationships as we knew them are ending. Now we have a new reality. So we are experiencing a lot of emotions in our hearts and a lot of grief in our hearts because what is grief? Grief is always about the loss of something. We had something in our lives and we lost it. We had a person we loved in our lives and we lost them. We had relationships in our lives and we lost them. We had money in our lives and we lost it. We had a career in our lives and it's gone. So our hearts are grieving. Many people are grieving. So I want to share three crystals that can help us work through the grieving process. Let go of the grief energy. Breathe and survive through this process of change. It's not easy. And I am not taking this lightly because I know that grieving and grief itself is always brought about by very sad occurrences in our lives. But sometimes some of us have reached the point where we are ready to let go and we just need the assistance necessary to help us through this process. And that's why I want to share with you at least three crystals just in case there's someone who's like, oh my gosh, what kind of crystal can I use during this process to help me let go because I'm ready to live again. Okay, so we all know that when the end has come, the end has come. So we want to work with crystals that help us let go and survive and also crystals that help us let go and breathe. And you know what? When dealing with grief, two organs are involved with survival. That is your lungs and your large intestines. Your lungs obviously help you breathe. They help you release. When you breathe, you become present. You come into the now moment. You surrender. You become vulnerable. You can release energy. You can release the breath. You become conscious of being here right now in this moment. So when you're in the moment, you can easily consciously let go. So your lungs and the breathing process is very important in the process of letting go of stuff and letting go of grief in particular. The other organ that is very useful in the process of letting go of grief is the large intestines. Your large intestines help in the process of elimination. It helps in the process of letting go of all that energy that is backed up. You know, everything that you've taken in, everything that you've digested, all that grief energy, all that pain energy, all those things that you've absorbed in your being has to go out somehow. It has to be eliminated somehow in order for you to survive. Remember the crystals we are working with to eliminate grief are crystals that help you let go and breathe or crystals that help you let go and survive. Your lungs and your large intestines are necessary for survival. So we need to breathe and we need to eliminate. So in situations where we are experiencing some kind of endings in our lives, which has brought on a lot of grief, we can work with our lungs and our large intestines on a physical level and on an energetic level, we can target the lungs through breathing and also the large intestines through elimination processes so that we can disentangle ourselves from this grief energy that's caught up in our energy fields and let go of it with some type of ease. So the first crystal that I find to be useful for releasing grief is purple fluorite. Actually, I find all purple crystals to be very useful for the grief release process, just because the purple crystals are very high elevation energies and grief is a descending energy. It's an energy that brings us downward and inward. And purple crystals are very good crystals, not only because they're high vibration crystals, but also because they always raise your energy upward. So in any kind of grief, purple crystals are also a very good way to go. But in this case in particular, I recommend purple fluorites. It's a very, very good crystal for grief. 
And just in case you don't have a purple fluorite, you can always use a purple amethyst. The second crystal that I recommend for grief release purposes is an Apache tear. An Apache tear is a type of obsidian crystal. It's one of those crystals that's very good for trauma purposes and has been used for generations by the Native Americans. Um, I have one in the form of a bracelet. And to be quite frank, the reason I really like Apache tear is because if it was good for the Native Americans, for grief release purposes, why would it not be good for me? So I trust that information on a very deep level, and that's why I'm recommending it as a crystal to use for grief release purposes. And the final crystal is my all-time favorite crystal, and that is Larima. Larima crystal is this bluish crystal here. Look at it. It's such a beautiful crystal. I'm telling you guys, for me, if you want to release emotions like big time and not play around with the situation, especially if you're doing your inner work, Larima is one of those crystals. Next to Malachite, Larima is a crystal that will help you flush out emotions that are hidden like no one's business. So if there's grief, I'm telling you, Larima is bound to bring it to the forefront. So Larima is one of those crystals that I recommend for grief release purposes, Apache Tear, which is a type of obsidian, and purple fluorite, or any other purple crystal like our good, good friend, Amethyst. And oh, let me just say this before I forget. You know, when we're working with grief, there's always a lot of anger that's involved. Sometimes behind grief, there's always that underlying anger. So if you're working with the grief and you still feel angry, also try to target that. Also through this whole process of grief, we can also work with crystals that help with anger, whatever that crystal is for you. For me, the crystal that helps me with the anger issues is usually black tourmaline. And then also, you know, you can also work with rose quartz because it's a crystal that brings love for most people. Or consider working with any crystal that is one that helps you bring a flood of love into your life. And also don't forget that sometimes when the grief gets lodged in your lungs and your large intestines, you might find yourself experiencing some respiratory issues or even some digestive issues. So, so understanding this process of where the grief is lodged in or what organs are involved can help you tackle some of these things or just, you know, understand what's going on with you on some level. So if you've been going through a grieving process and you've been working with your crystals, let me know what those crystals are. And during this time when there's a lot going on and there's so much in the air and there's a lot of changes going on and nobody knows what's coming in from left field or what, you know, I truly, truly, truly envision the best possible loving outcome for each and every one of us. I love you guys. Let's stay strong. We are going to make it. We are going to make it somehow. You know, it's going to be good in the end, no matter how it seems in the middle. I love you guys. Stay strong and know that we are always loved and supported, no matter how it looks like. Bye, guys.